stuff's all about emotions and relationships and love and romance. Um, and the ace is is right at the beginning. Yet again, we've got another ace card, so we're right back to the beginning um, of, of, of that journey of of love, of romance, of the heart, of um, having emotional flow, emotional congruence, emotional stability, um, and emotional maturity. So it's something that's like way, way back in 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 the journey. Yeah. Um, And instantly, okay, every time I read the cards, I read something different in each card. Um, and um, I, I, I love that about the cards. I read them intuitively, not by the book. Um, and lots of people do readings like that. And other people just do it strictly by the book, okay? So um, if you've been following me for a while and you've seen me read cards and you've seen me read this card or a similar card to this with the, with the same symbols in it, um, I might have said something different. But this card to me today, yeah. Um, it says basically it's like um, you need to release something around your mother yeah it's like we're looking at the cup and there's an upside down N in the cup that's what that's saying to me right now yeah it's not a W it's an upside down N and then all the tears are flowing out of the cup so it's like something around your relationship with your mother yeah whether that is the external relationship with your mother and your relationship with her today um, or your relationship with her in the past um, or whether it is to do with your internal mother and the way that you speak to and treat yourself that will be unique to you and it may even be a combination of both or it probably is a combination of both because if we have had problems with our mothers um, or you know we have problems with it with that like key um, relationship in our lives yeah that's one of the building blocks of who we are our personality and everything it's a very formative and important relationship if there's a problem there if there was a problem there that hasn't been healed then that means that the mother that you have inside of you won't have developed fully and therefore you won't be able to mother yourself um, in in the best possible way yeah you'll be limited in your ability to mother yourself and parent yourself and that could create all sorts of problems um in life so this card is basically saying yeah that um that what you were carrying right now what is kind of making you feel out of sorts or upsetting you um in this moment right now is something to do with your maternal core maternal relationship whether that's external or internal yeah and it's kind of like it's upside down it's turned on its head um it's all wonky it's all wrong it's got flipped yeah and as a result of that you're crying lots of tears you are grief stricken um and it, it kind of like it comes at you and it cuts you in half and and it doesn't matter how much kind of like faith that you put in and how much kind of spirituality you try and channel into it um, those tears keep coming and they keep falling um, so like the way through is, is in surrendering yeah you have to kind of like give this chalice over completely and utterly surrender it to the powers that be yeah um it's not it's not going to get healed by you consciously focusing on it it's not going to get healed by other people coming and contributing to you and to your cup it's not going to get healed by by love being put in it's only going to get healed by surrendering completely and allowing somebody else to hold that cup for you yeah allowing a higher power not a person a higher power a different energy one that you cannot necessarily see or touch to to just take your pain surrendering it and it's like if you're if you're religious and you're christian yeah and then you can like expand this as a metaphor helps to suit you 
your religious and your Christian and you need to hand it over to God. You need to say, I give you my pain, I give you this wound and I trust that you will heal it for me. Um, so what, however that translates for you um, into your religion or your faith or your belief system, that is the way through this, is just in surrendering it and giving it up. And if you do that, then the tears will cease to be destructive. They will cease to be cold and sharp like icicles. They will cease to wound you and they will instead fall down into a flowing river and this river will become beautiful and bountiful and it will produce flowers. Yeah, so it will grow new things, new life and will transform. So just take a look at that card and see if there's anything else in that card that you can see that speaks to you. Seeing also that the energy that is going to come in and help you when you surrender is a soft energy. Yeah, it's a soft feminine energy and if it's or it's an older masculine energy yeah so it has lots of wisdom behind it and lots of healing within it um, and if you embrace that then the pain that you hold not just in your heart but also in your gut yeah the, the pain in your belly the 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 issue with your intuition and in trusting yourself completely that will be resolved as this pain flows out of you yeah and it won't be refilled so at the moment you are refilling that pain on a daily basis over and over again yeah you're just refilling that 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 cup that goblet but if you if you do the healing work by allowing another power greater than you to come in by surrendering and trusting and having faith that by falling into that pain, by falling into that grief, by falling into whatever that emotion is and trusting that you won't fall apart, you won't break it won't be the end of the world you will you will move through it it's like if you go into it fully and completely and with faith yeah so whatever emotion has come up for you you need to go into that emotion completely 100 percent yeah without holding back without being reserved without trying to stifle it and shut it down then you will then allow a greater power to come in and work through you to bring you healing and that greater power could even be your higher self it could be your guides it could be your higher self or it could be your 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 god and you know whoever you see that as you know your god could be the universe it could be mother earth it could be a spirit guide an animal guide you know um we're all different we're all unique and all of us have different different helpers and different belief systems um so yeah i hope that was helpful <laughs>